What's good with my loud pack? It's your boy, yo, G. Now, today's video, we talking about archetypes. Not just any old archetypes. We talking about the best archetypes for NBA 2K19. Now, I'm basically taking all the information that we have and trying to figure out what's going to be the best archetype. Now, I'm taking the information and I'm taking past history. Okay? 2K has a past. At least two years of archetype systems. Okay? And there's been two constant best archetypes since NBA 2K17. And I'm going to take some of the information that we just got for NBA 2K19. Spam it together. Voila! We're going to have the best archetypes. I'm only going to give you two or three. This is just my advice. This is just what I go off of. This is just, you know, history repeats itself over and over again. I know a lot of you guys think this new generation is bringing a new wave. You're not. Okay, history repeats itself, and I'm pretty sure it's going to repeat itself in NBA 2K19. So without further ado, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn on the post notifications so you can be part of one of the latest groups, communities, family on YouTube, and that is the Loud Pack. And also, I, I am having a giveaway. This is the last video I probably announced this on. If you want to be a part of the giveaway, all you have to do is is subscribe turn on your post notifications follow my twitter and turn on my post notifications for my twitter this will be the last video i even say anything about the giveaway here i'm gonna be saying this all on my twitter so go follow me on my twitter send me those pictures of those four things that's subscribing notifications follow notifications send me the pictures i'll put you in an early pool that would triple your chances of winning a nba 2k19 Legendary LeBron James edition for the hundred dollars. Let's get into the video. Keep you on the side like the love, baby. Where you been? Dipping in the bins. Need you right beside me like the love. Okay, so in today's video, we're talking about these archetypes. Now, there's still a debate going on. I'm still seeing YouTubers saying there's gonna be three archetypes. I see still see some saying, no, there's gonna be one, and then you know, the obvious there's there may be just two. OK, now what I'm doing is I'm going to tell you guys based off the knowledge that and the info that I got gather up and I'm going to tell you which one should be the best. Now, over the last two years, the sharpshooters and the playmakers has always been the best. You had to incorporate sharpshooting or playmaking some type of way into your build. And they was OP. Sharpshooters to me will always be OP. This reason and this reason only. The badges. Hall of Fame Limitless Range. Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot. Deep Range Dead Eye. So no matter if it's a pure sharp, a just a sharp, a pure stretch big, or a stretch big, if you got sharp shooting in your build, you're going to be cheesy and you're going to be one of the best builds in the game simply because of your badges. So that is the first one, is the sharpshooters. Simply because of the badges, you get hot spots. You're going to be able to green threes. Like, basketball is all about putting the ball in the hole. And no build does that better than the sharpshooters. So I don't care what you mix a sharpshooter with, as long as it's sharpshooter first, whatever you mix it with, it will be one of the best builds next year, hands down. Because look at Curry, KD. A lot of the great players right now are sharpshooters. Some of you guys even call LeBron a sharpshooter. I wouldn't do that, but y'all y'all say he a sharpshooter. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's just one of those things that is going to happen. It's, it has to happen. The sharpshooters put the ball in the basket better than anybody else. Okay? Now, there's reports out there. And there's tweets that Ronnie said that a lot of you guys misconstrued. I said Ronnie. That Mike Wayne posted. A lot of you guys misconstrued. He said, oh, my God. Slash is going to be the best build because you can do this and that and that. I feel like the slashers are not going to be one of the best builds simply because of this. You have to time your layups. So that means no more pressing square in the paint and the guy making contact layups. You have to time your layups. Yeah, you can break out. You can chain a euro step into a dunk. Some of you niggas don't even know how to do a euro step. So how are you going to chain a euro step into a dunk if you can't even do a euro step? You know what I'm saying? Like, some of you guys can't even do a spin gather. And you talking about this is going to be OP. It's not going to be OP. The people who know how to use the slashes will be OP. But for the rest of you guys, if you're just looking and banking off the information and you said, oh, I'm about to be a slasher and be a god this year. You're not. So let's scratch that. So we got sharpshooters as my number one. Playmakers. 
for some reason, point fours are cut out of a different cloth. They're not cut out the same cloth as everybody else is made out of. Like all the rest of these archetypes, it just it's something about these pure point fours. Uh, well, I'm talking about more pure point fours than playmakers. You know, the playmakers, unless it's six seven, you know, it's pretty like uh. But the six seven playmaker and the six ten point four, they all they always gonna be one of the best in the game because they're gonna be they're gonna be faster than a lot of people at their height. They're going to be able to get to the basket. You're going to be able to finish. You're going to have a mid-range. That's just something that's just going to happen. And with this takeover badge and these guys having some of the elite ankle breakers, bruh, it's like it's going to be a GG. Get your hot spots. This this build it will always be one of the best builds in the game because of how tall you can make him, how fast he can be, uh, how great his handles can be. And these guys can always shoot from three mid and even finish with contact like this would be always be one of those bills that is going to be the best all right now my last and final bill okay we talked about the sharpshooter we talked about the playmaker okay we have to talk about the lockdown defender now the only reason i'm talking about the lockdown defender because in 2k17 the lockdown defender was op now they said they turning up the defense i will definitely break this down in a whole nother video Okay, coming next week. But they said they're tuning up the defense, which only means if you're a lockdown defender, you're going to be OP. You're going to be. All right, when it comes to stealing, they're going to know when the ball is more vulnerable. If you can do that timing stuff, you can smack the ball loose every time. Uh, the defense is going to be a lot better. No more blow-by animations. No more snatchbacks. Come on, man. The lockdown defenders are going to be OP. And they said the takeover badge will heighten your badges and will also give you animations that other people don't have. Special animations. We about to see some unique animations from these lockdown defenders that we've never seen before. Like snatch blocks, like some ridiculous snatch blocks, like probably two hand blocks where you come from behind the guy and just take the ball out of his hand. It's going to be ridiculous. I feel like the rim protectors and the lockdown defenders are going to be some of the OPS builds in the game now maybe you'd be lacking a little bit on offense but hopefully they do the same bad system as nba 2k 17 where you can get certain badges like corner specialists like maybe mid-range dead eye like bronze or not like bronze is better than nothing you feel me so a bronze corner specialist a, a bronze mid-range dead eye would definitely be lit you feel what i'm saying get you a nice little jump shot that you know that you can green out and i I'm telling you, this build will be lit, all right? So these are the three builds that I feel like it will be taking over NBA 2K19. Now, comment down below and see if you agree with me. And I also want you guys to make your own list. What do you think? What builds? Which ones do you think will be the best in the game? Now, you don't have to give me a combination like sharpshooting, uh, playmaker, or you don't got to do that. Just give me, like, primary first build. Which primary build will be one of the most best builds in the game, okay? Because we don't know if they're going single archetype, dual archetype, or even triple archetypes. We don't know if they even like, well, they are doing archetype because Mike Wayne says so. So um, just make it primary. Just primary, which primary builds will be the best to you guys? I want to see you guys comment. So this has been your boy, Yoji. Quick video for today, and I'm out. Peace.